again, friends. We're talking about solids. We're talking about geometry and solids. So what is a solid? Well, a solid is going to be a three-dimensional object, a 3D object. An object that has dimensions. So what are those dimensions? Width, depth, height, right? Sometimes you hear length instead of width or length instead of depth. It doesn't matter, but you have three different dimensions. And so let's look at that. Here's our height. Here's our width, here's our length, right? That's that three, it's, you can hold it, right? This is closely resembles a rectangular prism, and we'll get to it. This is a cylinder. <laughs> so, solid, solids is just a fancy way to say, it, like, shape, you know, spherical or 3D shapes. So what are some examples of these? A cone, right? Many of you like ice cream cones. I love ice cream cones. I prefer waffle cones more than sugar cones. Waffle cones are great. Um, but, you know, party hat, a cone hat, it's, it's a cone. Cone is just, you know, that circle that comes to a point. All right, a cube this is a square. So a cube is, you know, every dimension, the length, the height, the width, is the same. Okay, so where a square is all four sides of the same length, a cube, every edge is the same length. And then a cylinder, two circles spread out, right? So a cylinder, you might maybe have like a, a canister of flour or sugar at your house. That's in the form of a cylinder. Okay. So another thing to look at are prisms. Well, what's a prism? A prism is a solid object with two identical ends and flat sides. So this is a triangular prism, and notice that these triangles are identical. They're spread out, right? So a, cyl a cylinder, if we go back, a cylindrical prism, there's a circle on each side and it's flat, right? Um, triangular prism versus a rectangular prism. Look, we have two flat sides, right? Two flat sides, and it's spread out. Um, now we also can look at our pyramids. So what's a pyramid? There's two different types of pyramids. This is the confusing part. We have a square pyramid where it's square on the bottom, right? It could be a rectangle on the bottom, but generally let's say it's square on the bottom, like uh, let's talk about like the Egyptian pyramids. Most of those are square pyramids. And then a triangular pyramid, instead of a square at the base, it's got a triangle at the base, right? So it's got a triangle right there. And then it comes up to a point. So, um, when looking at a 3D solid, at a solid, we need to be able to label some of the components of that solid. Okay, so the edge, our edge is going to be these, the edges, right? Um, <laughs> seems simple enough. The edge, any time where that shape turns or bends, right? Um, so the edge. Now the face is going to be, like a cube has this as one face, right? A cube has six faces. So these the flat parts are the faces. And then the vertex or the vertices are any time there's a corner. Any corner is going to be, the technical term is a vertex. Okay, and then plural of vertex is vertices, the vertices. So, guys, this is our quick introduction to solids and 3D figures. Uh, hope you have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions, if there's any way that I can help. Thanks so much.